<laughs> we got in to go and grab a couple of hives because we're heading down to Buzz Hill in the morning. Anyway, we thought we'd try our new toy out, but um, apparently you don't have to lift it onto the trailer. It can lift itself on. I think that's what the the, um, the little legs were for. The handy hint. That's what that was about. So we'll just give it a crack anyway and see what we can do. Rum, rum, rum. Push the R. I like the fact it's got reverse beep. How cool is that? Like, you know, you've got to love OH&S, don't you? This will be the most oh &S thing on the property. <laughs> <laughs> you're there, you're there. I could run myself over. Holy shit. <laughs> got our little whizzy wheels. So they just go in here and lock them in. We're not that professional yet. We've only got a trailer. And even the trailer's not that professional, so let's not get too excited. This will be the most professional thing on the block, as well as the paradise boxes. You know, watch ourselves. People will start thinking we know what we're doing. I reckon I should get up there. There you go. Pull it towards myself. Oh, God! Come on, you can do it! <laughs> Can't even get myself up there. Bloody hell. <laughs> Easy to operate, Sid. That's pretty cool. I don't think you meant to have a checker plate floor somehow. It's very important, this rope tying bit. <laughs> Why would you say that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Stops it falling off. <laughs> I wonder if it'll take off though, won't it? We better tie the bottom as well. You might have to design a special holster for it. So we thought we'd just give this lift the thing a bit of a crack. And we got, I got some hives out here at the prop, other property, at the back of the armor block, that I've requeened. I'd like to put them down with the other splits that I've already got down at Buzz Hill. So I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity. We're going to go out and pick them up tonight and then we're going to leave first thing in the morning rather than driving down there. I figure I'm not much of a night owl, so, but I'm not too bad in the mornings, so we'll give that a go tomorrow morning. Now these were some pissed off angry little swarms that we've requeened, and we thought we'd just pick them up and take them down to the block, give our new little machine a run for its money, <laughs> see what happens. Here we go, we're just going to get these boxes organised, put some straps on them so they don't all fall to bits, and then load them on the trailer with our crazy hook for opera machine. You wouldn't think you could have so much fun, would you, out in the dark? Over the cow throttle too far away. Shit! <laughs> Let's not go through that shit. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's only a bit of lifting anyway. Hey, forward. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. No, reverse, reverse. What are you beeping at me for if you're not reversing? <laughs> I think we're going to have to put a little bit of a brum, 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 you know, like maybe you never remember when you were a kid and you had the little flicky things on your bike that made it sound like it was a car. I wonder if you could do that. <laughs> you, did you ever do that when you were young? No. Nah, that was before your time. When we were kids, anyway, you used to have your push bike and you'd get a little bit of hard plastic and when the, and you'd stick it to your front bar of the bike and you'd have the little hard plastic bouncing against the sprockets and it sounded like a little motor would go like Brrrr. So I was just thinking maybe we could do that for this. But I digress. I mean, it's anyway, it's a lot easier on my back than trying to lift these bloody things up here like I usually do. 
Anyway, we've made it down here in the morning. It's not quite sunrise yet. The dirt is coming over the crisp. And now we're just gonna unload them here first thing before they wake up too much, which I reckon is gonna be pretty cool. Right, and we'll get our little crazy buggy organized and see what that does. <laughs> back to bed, chicks. Go on, go back to bed. Josephine's got a bit of a crack. <laughs> Leave the battery on. Oh, we've still got lights. <laughs> oh, come on. I wonder why they put that funny little skinny U bit in there. Might work. <laughs> Definitely not quite as excited as carrying them in my hand. <laughs> I've broken it already. <laughs> Come on. Note to self, don't put it past the arrow. The bush bee man is officially retarded. The cameraman has just saved his little butt. Now, as you saw earlier with me banging this thing with my trusty hammer, which isn't really a hammer, if you're not so retarded and you happen to read the handy hints, you would know that the fixing handle, you push it up a little bit further and the little suckers just slide in and out like butter out of your knife or honey out of a hive. <laughs> anyway, retard. Yes, thank you. <laughs> She's not really four-wheel drive, is she? This trailer is not really designed for this project, I don't think. <laughs> is it? So you just beat it with a hammer until it works? One option. <laughs> the other option is to follow the directions. Hey. I don't think that's quite gripping quite right. Be, hopefully. Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> Help. We're going to drop the box in a minute. Yeah, I don't think they like me just right now. It was just easier to walk backwards because it's just you can give it a little bit more of a toe. If anybody's used a sack truck, you'll know that pulling is easier than pushing. It didn't go too bad forwards, but just you can give it a bit of extra help up this sandy hill. But I don't think this is ideal conditions for this buggy. I think we're supposed to be on a beautiful lawn field in the lovely heights of Italy or something. But it's pretty cool. Of course, this is only the first time we've used it, so let's not get too excited. <laughs> 